In this short clip, we will show you what C++ class discovery, reconstruction, and decompilation looks like in JEP3. This Windows x86 binary file contains three classes, but all you could see in the lower left corner was methods because class reconstructions had not been enabled. We're going to enable it in the options. Class discovery done by JEP does not rely on RTTI or any other type of metadata. So the file is being processed and you can see three classes were discovered and rebuilt. Class 0, 1, and 2. So we can check the hierarchy, for instance, class 0. And we can see that class 0 has one child, class 2. Now let's check the hierarchy of class 2. And we can see that class 2 has two parents. So we have a case of multiple inheritance right here. Now, if we look at class 0 again, you can see that field was recovered, constructor, and a virtual method. So we're going to decompile class 0. So as you can see, class 0 is right here. Um, one method, one constructor. We can obviously rename things. So you can see the class 0 has one virtual method. And this virtual method was actually redefined in a child class, class 2. So we can check that by checking the overrides there. So you have two methods, right? If we decide to rename one or refactor one, refactoring will be done consistently across the class hierarchy. So here we rename it to foo, and you can see that it was also renamed in class two. Now let's decompile class two. And as we said earlier, you can see that class two inherits from class zero and class one. And class two has two virtual method, one proper and another one that is the override of the one defined in class zero. And that is it for this simple file. The second file is a sample that was compiled with Visual Studio 2015. So what follows is just standard analysis and markup, so I sped up the video. It simply shows how class reconstruction can be useful when reversing code compiled from C++. Having hierarchies between classes, class fields and virtual methods, as well as the relationships for overrides and virtual calls is really useful when reversing complex models are written in C++. The reconstruction module itself works on top of JEB's decompilation pipeline and handles the Visual Studio ABI, which is the gold standard for malware. As I said earlier, it does not rely on metadata, RTTI, or otherwise. Static and dynamic analysis of the IR is performed to pinpoint constructors, rebuild virtual tables, determine the classes and their relationships, etc. The module can handle a range of compiler optimizations, such as virtual method reuse or constructor inlining, it also uses a range of heuristics to determine virtual table boundaries and class structure sizes. It's still a work in progress though, but will be made available in the release candidate of JEP3. In the meantime, stay tuned as we'll publish more detail on our blog in the coming weeks. Once again, thank you.